All right, so what we now have is we have the, the, the line of best fit. Uh, what we now want to do is forecast for the coming year. So for the next year, uh, we find the average annual temperature is, say, being 50 degrees. So we feed that in. And straight away, Excel automatically uh, copies the formula down, one more cell, and calculates it for you. So what it's telling you is if the average temperature has been 50 degrees, then using this forecast, this simple linear forecasting, we would expect the yield to be 60 bushels per acre. So if you look at the graph down below, you can see the same thing. If you come across to the temperature at 50 and come up, and then read across, you can see it's 60 bushels per acre. So that's how you do a simple linear forecast in Excel. Now, one of the key questions you always want to ask is, how good is this forecast? Is it something you can rely on heavily or is it just a, a rough estimate? Now, there are a number of ways you can measure that. One of the simplest ones is to use a statistic which is called the adjusted R-squareds. The adjusted R-squareds vary between 0 and 1. An adjusted R-squared of 0 means there's no relationship at all. Adjusted R-squared of 1 means there's a perfect relationship. Typically, we would like to see fairly high R-squareds. It's good to see them about, say, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 or above. So what we want to do is calculate what the R-squared is for this particular uh, forecast. There's two ways of doing it. There is a function that will do it for you, uh, but there is a better technique rather than using the function. If we come over here and go in under data, Remember before when we were doing our um, simulation, we used data analysis? Well, if we use that same tool as before, but this time instead of using histogram, we use regression, what it will do, it will do an analysis for your regression. So just hit the word OK, and then fill in the...